done. Can you stop with you? No, that, that, that's what I'm here to do. Yeah, but I don't want to be on film. Okay, well, off you go then. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys. We do come to some rubbish places, don't we? <laughs> and today we literally are at the rubbish HQ. Biffa, Corby, MRF and transfer station. So we're not expecting this to be the cleanest of sites, are we? But I will actually um, switch over to my other microphone, which is a bit better in the wind. So with the other microphone connected, here we have a 68 plate Sweepersaurus. North Northamptonshire Council there going up to clean our streets. But it was parked on the Weybridge. You know, they all come in and out via the Weybridge so that they can see the difference in weight and charge them for that. So let's have a good look around this place from the outside. Sight rules, are you wearing the correct PPE? Safety glasses, high vis, no unauthorized persons beyond this point, so we will not be going any further. No smoking, hard hats, footwear, hand protection, the whole lot, which is quite rightly so. But look at that, that's not good, is it? An open padlock, oh dear. We don't like it when we see those uh, type of things because you could swap that for your own. Imagine if I'd have swapped that for my own padlock now, they lock it at night, I come in and let myself on site. Not very good at all. Vehicle coming out on the way bridge there. Some 360 grabs, bales of rubbish. And you know, on a windy day, there's not much blowing around at all, really, is there? Just shouted through the gatehouse window, am I okay? So I gave him the thumbs up. So from this view, we can see some old windows down there. So let's have a look at these other padlocks then, shall we? Well, that one's secure. Nothing wrong with that. And here we have some skips that are full of rubbish. It looks like they've been left for a long time. The bags are all ripped open from the wind on the top. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Sorry? Can I help you, Paul? Help me? Yeah. I don't know, who are you, who are you? sorry? I'm just wondering why you're videoing inside. Yeah, who are you? Well, I'm the manager of the site. Oh, you're the manager? Wow, okay. So they've sent out the, um, yeah, I'm having a look round. I'm just seeing what I can uh, find good and bad, really. Sorry about that. No, it, it won't work. Just, I'm making, I'm, I'm comparing you to other places that I've been. I'm seeing what, I've saw the, what could be done. Can you stop with you? No, that, that, that's what I'm here to do. Yeah, but I don't want to be on film. Okay, well, off you go then. <laughs> okay, I'll call the police. The who? Police? Oh, please don't waste the police time, my friend. Yeah. Doesn't, uh, doesn't like somebody coming to have a look around. I've got to be honest, don't I? I am looking for good and bad things. That's all. Oh dear. They come out onto the public footpath while you're filming and they tell you to turn your camera off. Not good, is it? So he came from this direction. So we'll just have a quick look to see what's happening up there before we do get the drone up. So hanging from the outside of the fence, we've got this long threaded bar, which you could just unhook like that, look. That's not very good, is it? I'm sure kids would love to play with that, like a big walking stick. And they've got these uh, cables 
these old cables like you've got a box a control box there that's just hanging and these cables are running all along the fence i mean i hope they're not uh, anything important because they could easily be tampered with from the outside it looks to me like they are disused but they do go down there and underground they actually go under the block paving and out and up the other side and they continue down there let's follow them see where they go and this is where they end they come around here down and well i don't know they just keep going let's follow them so yeah it does look like they terminate just there maybe they go into the porter cabin maybe it's um network cables or some sort of uh, cctv link up to these porter cabins which i presume were meant to be temporary <laughs> and have just remained a permanent structure even with air conditioning look and this gate is for corby collections and that looks nice in the back an old water tower maybe but look who's supplying their bins <laughs> viridor they've given a competitor the business and a driver there just looking interested in what we're doing and in the back we can see some normal household bins and some business bins as well and look how dirty that is so corby mrf as shown on the screen just there it says material recycling facilities mrfs are essential in providing quality raw materials to the production industry as they are designed to separate commingled recyclables into their individual material streams and prepare them for sale in the commodity market so paper and cardboard plastic bottles and containers aluminium and steel cans all come in here all mixed and these guys separate them out so that they can be sold as raw materials all right then Can I help? Can I help? Can I help at all? Yeah, I just wondered why you're here. I told you. You didn't know you know. I have. I said I'm comparing you against other sites I've visited. But why have you been looking at our locks and our security? Well, I'll give you the feedback at the end, what I found wrong. Oh. Yes, please. No, at the end I said, not now. The end I'm of what? I'm still busy. <laughs> Mate, the police are on the way. That's all right, there's nothing being done wrong. When you're checking out security of a site, I think there is something wrong. Well, that'll be helpful to yourselves if I spot it before the criminals. Okay. Don't you agree? Okay. If I spot a security weakness... Oh, I'm, I'm just being... I'm just asking you in a nice, calm, friendly manner what you're doing. Do you think I'm not being calm? I think you're very calm, yeah, but you're not answering me. I am. I'm no, telling you. No. I'm. Okay, do you want me to finish? Yeah. I'm place. here. I'm here. I'm looking around I'm the side. Half of the well, let me finish. Okay. I'm going to complete what I call an audit mm -hmm. of your site, and I'm going to tell you what you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to tell you what you're doing good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And what you do with that information is entirely up to you. Okay. But right now, I'm still in the middle of it. I'm just about to take the drone over so I can get a good look round. And that will give me a bigger picture of what's going on. Okay. And can I just remind you that mm -hmm. Biffa, mm -hmm. any images captured by your CCTV and your phones, they are subject to GD... Don't matter, you're employed. Are you working at the moment? Break. Doesn't matter. You get paid for your break, can't you? Yeah. Why are you trying to be funny? I'm not. I'm, I'm so, answering the questions. That so Biffa don't pay you for your break? No. What time do you have your breaks? Um, whenever I like. I've got an hour a day that I don't get paid for. So you're telling me you're on your hour a day break right now? Mm, no, it gets split up. I've got half an hour. 
You're not lying to me, are you? <laughs> no. Okay. Why would I lie to you? Well, to try and get out of GDPR. Because if any of your cameras capture my image, mm -hmm. I'm just going to request a copy of it, that's all. And I always do. All right. Yeah, hold on, mate. I'm on a break at the minute. I'm on my break at the minute, can I speak to you in a second? Thank you very much mate, alright. Speak to you in a bit. Bye. Into traffic controller, the area with plasterboard, this is the same skip I rejected uh, two weeks ago. Please can you make sure there's no foam on the plasterboard please? Oh, you're not getting mixed um, materials are you? Inside? So yeah, he followed me around with his camera, so I just walked, uh, walked him back to the door. So anyway, let's continue what we was doing. Let's get the drone up and see what this place uh, looks like from above. We've checked on drone assist as we always do. Look at that, we are on the end of Pilot Road. <laughs> Sounds good to me. So let's pilot this drone, get it in the air and see what it looks like from above here at Corby Material recycling facility so let's get up to a decent height so that we're way above anything around us and let's have a little look around shall we so the skips that I said looked a little bit too full we're down here I mean, what's that all about? Why are you leaving them there like that? Bales of material, paper, cardboard. Let's have a good look in all the skips. Looks like some old forklift arms there. Polystyrene. So there we are. Over here, gentleman just approaching us now. Hopefully he doesn't want to talk to me. I'll move out of his way. I like the colour of his high vis So much so, that's the colour I chose for my bike. <laughs> so it looks like bottles in these ones here. And then we get round to the interesting stuff happening under there. So let's zoom in, see what they're doing. Picking up all the mixed waste and placing it on a conveyor belt just there, look. And the conveyor belt will take it up and let's find out where. So this front loader is just sweeping up the yard, getting things looking better. The CAT 930M, does that say? Doesn't look very sorted to me. It looks very, very mixed. So we've got a vehicle here just putting its net on and another one that just seems to have tipped. So as they come in, I'm sort of uh, going into the area that they're designated to go to and we'll see what happens, shall we? Can we work out what's inside this one? To me, it just looks like a load of plastic shrink wrap. But let's see him tip. So he has to get out, open his door, and securely fasten it to the side. He then controls it from inside the cab. tilts it until 
You know what happens. And there we have it. Can we work out what it is? Just loads and loads of plastic wrappings, I believe. Wow, look at that. And then the wind is left to do the damage. <laughs> yeah. What an unusual load of waste. And the previous vehicle dumped what looks to be plasterboard. Yeah, plasterboard there. So we can still see the drone as shown just there, look. There I am. So for those that are wondering, do not worry, we've still got line of sight. So we've got the wood area, as you can see. Plastics over here. Old window frames and door frames, all the UPBC section. And we've got a recycling company delivering little bits of UPVC on plastic stillages there, look. The forklift takes them off and tips them. Then what looks to be lots... What the hell is this? But what do you reckon this pile is? Other than white. <laughs> white and black. That's not packaging, is it? That... I really don't know what this is. Leave your guesses down below. I'm not sure. The most valuable, the metal area. And just behind this wall where I'm standing right now, more of that. <laughs> I need somebody here to talk me through all these different types of waste. Loads of bins to serve their business customers. And right in the corner, we have that. And I do wonder what this machine does as well. Spinning around. Certainly doing something. I have no idea what. And the only other interesting thing around is this. Some sort of water tower. So let's have a quick peek at this. Have a look from above and then bring David back. And look at that, it is full of water. So it must be treating it in some way and spitting it out the bottom there. Awesome. So, Corby Material Recycling Facility. Let's get you a full 120 meter shot and also take our photo for Google Maps and then get David back. So there you go Biffa, you're very welcome. So before we bring the drone back, I just wanted to see where this conveyor belt was leading. So we can clearly see there all the mixed waste going up into this section here. It will turn left and you've actually got guys in this office part here where the conveyor belt is going in front of them 
from right to left and they're splitting out the cardboard, the plastic and the metal. And they're doing that by hand in there. And then the rest of the stuff is continuing to the left on the conveyor belt and being dropped. at the end where you've got the loader ready to pick up and I think they have also got a second hut there yeah they've got a second hut which is also splitting out other materials as well so that's how it's done all by hand so let's get David back and wrap this one up so you will notice that these CCTV uh, signs have now broken They've got too old. The weather's just made them brittle and unreadable. Even this one here, look. So it is a legal requirement to have those signs up if they have got CCTV in operation. So that will be one of the things we tell him. And as shown on gov.uk there, data protection and your business. If your business uses CCTV, you must register your details with the ICO and pay a data protection fee unless you are exempt. You must also, here we are, tell people they may be recorded, usually by displaying signs which must be clearly visible and readable. Control who can see the recordings, so not every member of staff should be able to access it. Make sure the system is only used for the purpose it was intended for. For example, it was set up to detect crime, you must not use it to monitor how much work your staff do. <laughs> so with our non-contact voltage detector, we'll just check to see if any of these wires are live. And no, none of them are live, which is a great sign. Let's just make sure that uh, it's the same at every spot. Yep, they are not live. So all those cables along there, I would say, are dead. That can all be removed to make the place look a little bit tidier. So we've done him a little list of the things that we found that are of concern to us. Mr. Manager? Mr. Manager? Hello? 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 I don't think Mr. Manager wants to talk anymore. Mr. Manager? Hello? Mr. Manager? Yes, hello. Are you the same gentleman? No. Oh, um, I, I'm, I'm thinking about leaving now, but he mentioned he called the police. So I just want to check with him what he wants me to do. I don't know. I don't know. I've not spoken to him at all, mate. Uh, could you get his attention for me? He's not here at the moment. He's popped out. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, no. could, could I ask you, what, what you who you are? Do you want to come to the gate and I'll show you? Yeah, of course we So I, I just visit sites of interest. Yep. Yeah. And I'll make a little video to show people what they're all about and I'll take the drone over and show them what's going on. All, oh. the, all the good and bad things about places like this. Yeah. Um, so I have highlighted a few things that are, are concern, but I just want to tell you them so that you can make the changes. Well, well what we'll do, mate, is all I can do is I can give you an uh, e email address or a telephone number of our media people. Right. I uh, won't. You can probably get in, you can get in touch with them. Thank you, right, but I won't be doing that. All I'm going to do, you don't have to take any action. I'm just going to say them, okay? Right. On the pedestrian gate, there's a yep. padlock which is not securely fastened. That means somebody could take it off right now mm. and put theirs on, open, so that when you close up at night, you've closed their padlock, right, okay. which gives them access to your site. Okay. So I would suggest you keep that closed as a padlock. Okay. Now, the, this, this just here is an offensive weapon that cannot be unsecurely left like that yep. on your property. A child at night will play with that and they will cause damage and it will be your fault. Um, the CCTV signs, they're so weathered 
that they are non-compliant. Mm -hmm. By law, you have to have CCTV signs that are readable. Okay. None of them across here are readable. Um, the gentleman that did came, come out earlier, when he took a photo of me on his phone, I asked for a copy of that, mm -hmm. and that is GDPR. So that's a breach of GDPR if I don't get a copy of that. Okay, um, will, I, will I get a copy of this? If you want. You just yeah. need to ask me, yeah. Yeah, oh, yes, please, yes. Yeah. Now, the cabling going along the fence, I have checked it with the voltage tester. It's dead. So it's not being used. It just looks a little bit untidy. Mm -hmm. If I was you, I'd just remove that. It, oh, looks, okay. it looks a lot better. And oh, the very last thing is the skips over here that are full, yeah. they have been full for a very long time. Okay. You can tell that. And you know that you can't leave things like that on site for too okay. long. Okay. Those are the issues that I've, I've highlighted. Do you appreciate what I've done? Yeah, no. That's fine. You, like I say, you, yeah, you can, you can voice. You've got, you know, got nothing, nothing against you or anything at all. So, um, but if, if I could have a copy of your recording, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you can. My email address will be below the video. Right, when it goes okay. onto YouTube, yeah. somebody will tell you that you are now on YouTube. Yeah. You can then email me and I'll send you a copy. Okay. Oh, now, d do you um, think that you may do any of those? Well, like I said, what I'll do is I can get you our media team, uh, email no address and number and you can get in touch with them. Do you think today that you're going to do any of them? I'll get you the number and the address. Okay? Not even the padlock? I'll get the number and address, okay? Do, do you know what off the top of your head? Sorry? Do you know it off the top no, of your head? No, but I can go and get it. I'll wait here for you, my friend. Okay, Thank you so much. No worries. So, he handled that quite well. Are you all right, mate, yeah? yeah. You don't want to have a word, do you? No. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Leave it to the bosses, eh? <laughs> so, yeah, he's just gone back to get us the, uh, the media contact details. You may as well take them. We'll fire a copy of this video over to the, uh, the powers that be and see if they make any of the suggested changes here. Correct everything to that email address there, okay? As promised. Press.office at biffa.co.uk? Yes. Your um, name was? I'm, I'm not going to tell you my name. Just your position? I'm not even going to get to say that, mate. Okay? I appreciate your time, mate. Thank you so much. And off he goes. So, guys, what do you reckon to that one, then? We highlight our faults to somebody who has got authority. Well, he said the manager had left site, but I didn't see him leave site, did you? So is he hiding away? <laughs> did he really call the police? Did the police tell him to grow up and leave the guy outside alone to make his video? He might even do you a favor. So yeah, that's it from uh, Biffa Corby. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.